thank the uh, Branchburg Rotary Club for honoring me with a Peace and Diversity Award, uh, their Community, Community Service Award. Uh, there were several other awards made that night, uh, including uh, uh, retiring freeholder Peter Palmer. Peter Palmer, thank you very much. So, uh, but I, I certainly was most honored to to be selected for the award of the community service. Uh, I do know um, for many years Tulsi Maharajan, who is uh, one of the uh, executives with the Rotary Club, worked with him when we were working on the Week of the People with Efren Dotto, mm -hmm. how far back that goes. And then uh, he has come to the Franklin Day Festival every year and has always been impressed with our diversity stage that we started actually two years ago where we try to highlight uh, musical events reflecting the diversity of Franklin Township and several other things that I've done over the years that I've been a councilwoman. So uh, it was Tulsi who put my name forward and I very much appreciate it and felt very honored to have uh, been one of those uh, people given an award that evening. I do also want to talk a little bit about the compressor station. I, I happen to live in one of the adult communities and they are not fully aware of the implications of this um, installation that's coming because it's, it's down in the southern part of town. But when I started talking to some people, they became very alarmed and asked that I bring in some of the people uh, from the task force to talk to them. And they did show up and they did come in uh, uh, Monday night, last night, and they, we had a very good crowd of people with a lot, a lot of questions and a lot, a lot of concerns. As uh, Councilman Prasad mentioned, there are health issues, there are public safety issues, there are environmental issues. And the bottom line is that there's nothing in all of this for Franklin Township. The gas that is going to be compressed is coming is fracked gas and that is particularly dirty gas so that it will put a lot of pollutants into the air and those pollutants in the air will travel it's not going to stay where where uh, they are spewed into the air and it will affect primarily the children and the seniors so living in a senior community a lot of people were very concerned and of course the environmental issues and the public safety issues and potential for explosions so uh, we had a very good meeting and a lot of conversation uh, and here's here's the, the bottom line there are not enough people working on this project the few who are doing it and are working very hard and putting in many many hours there are only seven people on the franklin task force so at the meeting yesterday, they asked for people to help and volunteer, and I'll give you some idea of the things you can do, and I'll give you a website and an email address that you can reach out to them if you're interested. First of all, there are technical papers that are going to be issued by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, which is control, in control of the compressor station approval. They are long, they are hard to read, and they are technical. They need someone with a technical background who can read them and summarize what they are reading so it will help the task force in being able to get the issues out to the public. Uh, they need people to make phone calls to the DEP to tell them how concerned we are and that we want them to stop this. We, they need people to have meetings at their home so they can come, they will come to your home and they will speak to your friends and your neighbors and let them know what a danger this compressor station is potentially for Franklin Township. And they need people with computer skills to help them um, make the optimum usage of the uh, computer and get the word out. They need someone who has, has social media skills. So, um, there's a lot of need, and of course they need money, and we're, they we're talking perhaps putting together a GoFundMe uh, um, site for themselves, but they have to look into the, the uh, someone can help them do that too. This is an important issue for the township. The township is helping them. We're offering them uh, the use of the, all of our, their printing is done here on our, our copiers, and we give them office space for meetings, but this is a very important issue. If you are interested in volunteering, 
and I suggest that you um, send them an email, and their email address is stop ft for Franklin Township, stop ft compressor at yahoo.com. Again, stop ft compressor at yahoo.com, or you can go to their website and get some real information, real time information about what is going on here. And that is www.scrap, S C R A P dash N E S E, which stands for uh, the Northeast Supply en uh, Enhancement Project, N E S E dot org. Please reach out. Please help. It's it's a critical issue for Franklin, and we're just not putting you know enough time into it because the few people who are doing it are just overtaxed their work, and they're doing the best they can. They're doing an amazing job. So if you want them to come to your home, if you want to help them, please reach out to them or reach out to me, and I'll put you in touch with someone. And the last thing that I did want to talk about uh, is uh, I attended a meeting. Um, also on Monday, earlier in the afternoon, with um, Alice Sipowitz from our Recreation Department, and met with someone who has suggested a healthy, uh, healthier Somerset as an organization to help with the uh, Municipal Alliance in finding programs, grants, or whatever is out there that is available for or the programs that they provide for the township for youth addiction issues, alcohol, as well as the opiates. So uh, it is something, again, another serious issue we all know about and, and are working. Uh, the state is certainly paying attention to it, and let's hope that uh, the federal government will join in. But we're doing our part here in Franklin Township to find programs, for it, prevent, present programs <coughs> for both the adults and the youth in Franklin Township, and that's the Municipal Alliance. That's my report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councilwoman. Deputy Mayor um, Carl Wright. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.